Hello, I'm Manny Munoz, and this is The Joy of Brassing, Episode 1. Today we're going to be talking about how to clean a brass instrument. And this has really been on my mind because of how important hygiene and sanitation is. Cleaning an instrument regularly is going to keep it sanitary, it's going to make it perform better for you, and number three, it's going to protect your investment for many years to come. Some of the equipment you're going to need is a mouthpiece brush, a valve brush, an instrument snake, soap, water, a towel, valve oil, cleaning cloth, and slide grease. So I've already filled up my washing basin with soapy, warm to hot water. It's not going to be so hot that it burns you. If you have a lacquer instrument, you want to make sure the temperature is a little lower so you don't hurt the lacquer. But a silver plated instrument like mine is going to be able to withstand the hotter temperatures a little better. And you want it soapy because that's going to help clean out the bacteria and get all the grime um, loosened up. While you're waiting on your washing basin to fill up, that would be a good time to deconstruct your horn. So what you need to do is take off all the slides, all the caps, but you're going to leave your valves sitting out. Those you're going to scrub outside of the water. Everything else is going to be submerged. Now, if there's a little stubbornness getting your slides out, that's okay, no reason to panic. But if it's really not coming out, you're probably going to have to get a professional to help you. Once you have it all deconstructed, you're simply going to submerge it under the water for 20 minutes. Make sure you put the parts in carefully so you don't dip the metal. Be sure to leave your valves out of the water. We're just going to scrub those separately and they sometimes have felt and other pads on them that you really don't want getting wet. So I just like to get some of the suds on the mouthpiece brush and just make sure to go through the inside of the tubing and be careful not to scratch the outside. And then make sure to rinse the suds off your valve. Ah, there, just like that. I also like to keep my valves in order when I take them out. That way, when I put them back in, I don't get confused about the order. Once your instrument has soaked for 20 minutes, it's time to snake it. I like to start with the outer slides first. That includes the first slide, the second slide, and the third slide. Keep the slide submerged under the water so that while you snake it all the debris can float away inside the water and come out cleanly. I also like to rinse each one right away that way I know I'm finished with it. And if it's been a while since you've cleaned your horn you're gonna see some nasty gunk coming out. I can guarantee that. If it feels really gunky and you need a, just a clean slate of grease, I just use my hand and some suds and wipe the old grease away. There, just like that. So keep doing this until all of the external slides are done. The valve brush is used exactly for what it sounds like. Make sure you go straight in and out with the valves. So I just use a straight scrubbing motion. Then the bulk of the work is going to be with the snake and with the body of the horn. Make sure to go through all the slides and be really thorough with the cleaning. Do be careful to buy a higher quality snake if you can. I've bought a lot of crummy ones before and these little scrubbing heads have gotten stuck in my horn before and that's no fun. Don't you just love that sound? Make sure to rotate around because there might be some hidden water in there somewhere. Just like that. We're going to rinse it off and we're almost there. Be sure to rinse your brushes and your snake off so that they're clean and ready to use for next time. And I just like to slap the devil out of them. Ah, I just love it. Once everything is rinsed and clean, I like to get my happy towel and just dry it all off. Once you're done drying it, it's time to get the polishing rag out and make it look pretty once again. I find that it's easier to polish the horn 
while all the parts are separated. So I've got my old trusty polishing rag here. It's seen a lot of years on it. Normally they'll have an outer layer that you finish with and then the inside layer is to really get the tarnish off. You can see the tarnish comes right off. So I'm going to start with one of my slides and I like to use the tarnishing remover first on it and then once I'm happy with that then I use the outside part just to kind of wipe away the grime a little more before I'm done with it. This process of the clean is probably the most tedious and I've been known to put on a happy little TV show in the background or put some YouTube concerts on and just enjoy my time getting to know my horn a little more. There, that's better. One by one and you'll see the tarnish come off and, and boy it's a really good feeling to see your horn springing back to life. I just love it. Sometimes cornets can be hard because we have such compact areas to clean. So a tip I like to use is just grab one tip of your cloth and then you can kind of make it thin so that you can fit it through these tight spaces a little easier. And there, you can see I have it through one side of the valve and then the other. Once you're happy with how the finish looks on the horn, it's time to grease down the slides. Now grease is going to help the slides move or stay put depending on what type of grease you put on there. But it's also going to help air from escaping from the instrument when it shouldn't be. Kind of creates a little seal on the inside and outside of the slide. Now a quick tip for keeping your hands clean while you put grease on the valves? Well, a Q-tip. <laughs> you use a Q-tip, get some grease on there, and then use the Q-tip to put it on the valve. Now I'll go through a lot of these because eventually the cotton starts rubbing off, but that's okay. So once again, just get some of the grease on the Q-tip and then put it on your slide. There. Make sure that there's enough grease on there. And then I like to do one part of the slide at a time. And I simply rotate and slide it in. Rotate and slide it out. And then once I have good grease coverage, I'm going to put the whole thing in. Then you're going to repeat that process with every slide. Now if you have slides that you need to move, like for cornets, our third valve slide or our first valve slide, and you feel like maybe there's too much grease or the grease is too thick, I just like to use a little bit of my valve oil to kind of cut the grease a little bit and thin it out. And then just a few drops should work. And then I work in the valve oil to the grease so it becomes a little thinner until it's just the right consistency for me. There. That's feeling a lot better. I like to coat the inside of the valves once with a good rinse of valve oil. And you can be liberal with it. Keep it over your wash basin so you don't get it on your clothes or on your floor. And then I'll put my valves back on in the order I took them out. So one, two, and three. Then oil them on both sides. And then you let it kind of drop down like gravity do some of the work and then push it down. I haven't put on the valve caps at the bottom yet because I want the excess oil to kind of drip off. And then I'll simply just work in the valve oil to the valves. And once I feel happy about that, feel like all the excess oil has come off, then I'll put on the valve caps at the very end. And this is such a simple thing you can do to not only protect your investment and make your horn work as best it can, but you'll just be proud of the good care you've taken of this instrument you've been trusted with. So leave a comment, leave a picture. We'd love to hear from you, and we can't wait to see you again. Until then, happy brassing, and God bless my friend.